We have been trying to cure oral cancer, which is a malignant tumor of oral cavity. Most of oral cancer is squamous cell carcinoma, which metastasizes to distant organs, leading to high mortality. While it is important to develop effective therapeutic strategies targeting metastasis, the molecular mechanisms regulating metastasis have not yet been elucidated. Epithelial cancer acquires metastatic potentials through the process called epithelial mesenchymal transition, EMT. During EMT, the epithelial cancer cells lose their cell cell contacts and acquire mesenchymal phenotypes, being migratory and invasive. At the initial step, some cancer cells undergo partial EMT, which exhibit hybrid epithelial mesenchymal features. It has been also reported that partial EMT confers cancer cells with high tumor initiating potential and contributes to drug resistance. Therefore, EMT can be a good therapeutic target to prevent tumor progression and metastasis. Multiple groups, including ours, have found that transforming growth factor beta, TJ beta, induces EMT. TJ beta is abundant in tumor microenvironment and plays important roles in progression of oral cancer. Activation of TJ beta signaling induces EMT, stimulates cancer cell migration, but at the same time, it also induces cell cycle arrest, leading to inhibition of cell proliferation. In our study, we used SAS cells, a cell line of oral squamous cell carcinoma, a common malignant tumor in hand and neck. We observed enhanced cell migration upon a treatment with TGF-beta. In addition, we also found that cell number decreased, suggesting that TGF-beta suppresses oral cancer cell proliferation. As TGF-beta suppresses proliferation and enhances cell migration, our question was whether there is any correlation between these two events. In other words, we were interested in whether the TGF-beta-induced motile and invasive cells are actually proliferating or not. However, because cancer cells are heterogeneous, we had to find a way to determine the motility and cell cycle status of each cell. For this purpose, we used FUCHI system. FUCHI system allows visualization of cell cycle changes at single cell level. So cells residing in G1 phase exhibit red fluorescence, while cells residing in SG to M phases glows green. Our facts analysis of sas fuji cells treated with TGF-beta showed an increased number of cells under cell cycle arrest in G1 phase and decreased number of cells in proliferating SG to M phases, what confirmed that TGF-beta induces cell cycle arrest. To characterize the motility of these cells under TGF-beta-induced G1 arrest, we isolated two populations of cells residing in SG2M and G1 phases and performed migration assay. To our surprise, TGF-beta-treated sas fuji cells residing in G1 phase were more motile than cells in SG2M phases or non-treated cells. That suggested that TGF-beta-induced G1 RS uh, increased the motility of oral cancer cells. We also performed in vivo experiment using orthotopic xenograph mouse model. Detailed analysis revealed that primary tumor masses comprised almost of the equal number of cells residing in SG2M and G1 phases. On the other hand, to our surprise, in metastatic lymph nodes, majority of cells resided under cell cycle arrest in G1 phase. Using RNA-seq analysis, we also identified the factor expressed by non-proliferating cell with high motility. To our surprise, it was a protein found in hair shaft, keratin associated protein 23 called keratop 23. Analysis using public database revealed that the expression of keratop 23 was correlated with the poor prognosis for patients with head and neck cancer. We wanted to elucidate molecular mechanism underlying EMT induction and cell cycle control by TGF beta keratop 23 axis. Therefore, we performed single cell RNA sequencing and identified 12 clusters. 
Among them, cluster 12 appear to represent unique subset of non-proliferating cells with mesenchymal features. These cells were expressed in Keratop 2.3 and arising via novel EMT pathway. This is our take home message. We found that TGF beta confers cancer cells with high motility while suppressing their proliferation. Such population of cancer cells is characterized by upregulated expression of Keratop 2.3 and arises via novel EMT pathway. Since KRTAP23 is a poor prognosis marker for head and neck cancer patients and regulator of EMT, we believe that KRTAP23 can be a target for our development of novel therapeutic strategies to suppress oral cancer metastasis. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.